When we know the truth, then we, there's something that we can do about it. If we don't know the truth, then we'll forever spin around, spin around, spin around. Put out that fire. Put out that fire. No, put out that fire. Put out that fire over there. Wait, the news now said this. Put out that fire. Wait, the news said that. Put out that fire, right? You just be continuing to put out fires everywhere because they're literally burning everything all over the place. <laughs> Welcome to Andrea Beeman Speaks Out. This is where you get access to uncensored, holistic, and alternative healing wisdom to support your body, mind, and spirit, and help you live a happier and more vibrant life while you're living on planet Earth in a perfectly designed human body. And you get it all without any bullcrap or nonsense. Let's dive into today's episode. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about the news. I don't recommend the news, actually. I think that to save your health, don't watch the news, don't listen to the news, it's all crap. But I do get the New York Times in my email box in the morning and I do read the articles. And uh, oftentimes I get a good giggle from the articles. So the article stated, in October, 25 out of every 100,000 residents of heavily Trump counties died from COVID, more than three times higher than the rate in heavily Biden counties. 7.8 per 100,000. Charles Gabba, a Democratic health care analysis, has pointed out that the gap is also evident at finer gradations of political analysis. Counties where Trump received at least 70% of the vote have an even higher average COVID death toll than counties where Trump won at least 60%. Now, what's interesting about that article in the New York Times is that they're saying if you voted for Trump and if you are in a red state, you're going to die from COVID. So here's my question for you, because I know disease does not have a political party, but I know that they're, they're using that to just, <laughs> to just confuse the masses. So here's my question to you. What about the other political parties, right? I think there's a green political party, there's a liberal party, but what are they dying from? Do they have higher rates of disease than any other political party? And then what about the people that didn't vote, right? That, that don't have a political party at all. You know, they, they don't believe in the whole process of the voting thing that's, you know, like really questionable anyway. So what about them? If they didn't vote at all for anyone, not the red person or the blue person, and I know that they're not red or blue, but their political parties are. So the person that didn't vote at all, are, does that mean that they are absolved completely from disease because they didn't vote? So they don't have a higher rate of disease as opposed to any other person that did vote? These are all questions that you need to ask if you actually read the newspaper. And I don't recommend reading the newspaper or reading the news or watching the news because of this crap. A political party has nothing to do with whether or not you will have a greater chance of dying from this current virus that's going around or any other disease. If you happen to read the newspaper and get the actual paper, by the way, any paper, I don't care what it is, only use it to like start fires, you know, like that. That's where these things come in handy. If you are in the woods and you need to start a fire to keep yourself warm at night and it's cold out, then crumple up a newspaper and put it in as a fire starty because that's, that's what they do. They, they start fires amongst people. <laughs> Newspapers start fires. So I looked up the truth because we know that we're not getting the truth from the news. What is the population that is actually at higher risk of death from COVID? So according to the National Public Library of Medicine and the National Institutes for Health, as it relates to death from COVID, conditions and comorbidities connected to a poor state of health, such as high age, obesity, diabetes, and hypertension are risk factors for severe and fatal disease courses. Furthermore, severe and fatal courses are associated with organ damage is mainly affecting the heart, liver, and kidneys. So here we find from the Health P 
people, right, that the top four risk factors of deaths from COVID have nothing to do with your political status. They're overwhelmingly, at least top three of the top four, are preventable conditions. Diabetes, obesity, and hypertension slash cardiovascular disease. When we know the truth, then we, there's something that we can do about it. If we don't know the truth, then we'll forever spin around, spin around, spin around, put out that fire, put out that fire, no, put out that fire, put out that fire over there. Wait, the news now said this, put out that fire. Wait, the news said that, put out that fire, right? You just be continuing to put out fires everywhere because they're literally burning everything all over the place. <laughs> so my suggestion to you, instead of listening to the news or looking to the news for your source of information, if you would like to reduce your risk of death from COVID, uh, I'm going to give you three things to do this week. The first is in regards to your health and in regards to reducing the risk of death from COVID. And I know I, I just read, um, the new YouTube guidelines of things that'll get you canceled from YouTube. And what I'm about to say will get me canceled from YouTube. <laughs> so watch this before January 2nd, because it probably won't be there afterwards, because I'm going to tell you the truth. And they certainly don't want the truth coming at you. <laughs> that would upset the narrative that all of the newspapers are feeding you and all the news outlets and stuff like that. So let me give it to you. My top three ways for you to reduce your risk of death by COVID. Number one, don't watch the news. Don't do it. Don't watch the news. Don't listen to the news. Don't read the newspaper. Don't do it. <laughs> it's, it's not going to help you. Trust me. It's all crap. I don't care if it's a, a lefty paper or a righty paper or a greeny paper. I don't know what, what it is. Just don't don't listen to the news, especially when it comes to your health. Don't. Number two thing that I would like you to do, do not go to the polls and expect that a politician or a political party is going to reduce your risk of death by COVID or any other disease for that matter. That's not the politicians' jobs. And, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly what the politicians are here to do. <laughs> you know, that's not my world. So I'm just going to stay out of it, but they're not here to support your health. That's your job. Your job is to make sure that you are getting your health taken care of because that's not their job. It's not on their agenda. I don't care if they're left, right, green, red, blue, orange, doesn't matter. None of that matters. Number three thing to do to support your health and wellness and reduce your risk of death by COVID is to hire a health coach or any other wellness practitioner that is outside of mainstream medicine. And I say that because mainstream medicine is fantastic at trauma. You get hit by a bus, you go to the hospital, you don't go to the health food store, <laughs> right? But they do not excel at preventing disease. Making diet and lifestyle changes, they're not taught that in medical school, so you don't go to them for that. So that's why you would hire a health coach or someone outside of the mainstream medicine because those people are focusing on diet and lifestyle, things that you could do right now today to reduce your risk of disease moving forward in the future. Three of the top four risk factors are preventable conditions. So if we can prevent those conditions now or move you in the direction of preventing those conditions now, your risk of death by COVID is reduced. Now, like I said, that's going to get me thrown off of <laughs> YouTube because <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about any of that stuff. So please watch this video before January, whatever is the date of when they're going to start removing all the content. They've already removed a lot of content, but they're going to be removing a lot more content. So remember, as you move forward in this very challenging time, right, where you can't trust the news sources and you can't trust what's going on with the politicians, you can't trust all that stuff. Remember, as you move forward, keep the politics out of your health decisions. And I promise 
You will be healthier and happier at the end of the day and at the end of the year and at the end of your life. Okay. Now this is the end of this podcast. (laughs) I'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Big thanks and a whole lot of love for tuning in today. All we have in life is time and I am honored that you spent your time with me. If you are inspired and want to learn more, head on over to www.andreabeeman.com and sign up to receive updates about reclaiming your health and your happiness in the most delicious and easy ways.